So welcome to this video on 2019 question B1 by Val Connell. Okay, the image on the right shows the package for Dor Doritos tortilla chips. It's based on a regular hexagonal prism, which is being sh oh, shaped as shown. Figure B1 shows the incomplete diametric uh, projection using the axonometric axis method, right? So diametric means that two angles between the axes are equal. So one angle here is 115 degrees. Okay, now a second angle, so it can be either this one or this one here is equal to it. Uh, you can be pretty sure it's this one here is 115. Now, why? Because the triangle inside here, ABC, is an isosceles triangle when it's diametric and AB is equal to length in AC as you can see. So that angle in here is 115 degrees. So the plan and elevation are shown in the required positions. Okay, so there's the elevation, there's the plan. Okay, part A, draw the axonometric axis, X, Y, and Z, and the isosceles triangle, um, A, B, C. So we'll get on that one. There. So the base of the triangle B, C is 120. Okay, and the key thing to note here, in every axonometric question, the edge of the triangle A, C makes a right angle with the opposite axis, and B, A makes a right angle with the opposite axis X, and B, C makes a right angle with the opposite axis Y. So at all times, the edge of the triangle makes a right angle with the opposite axis. And this is 115 degrees here, and the one on the left will be 115 degrees. So, um, vertical line here for the Y axis. Tractor here is set at 115 degrees. Okay, now uh, to get point uh, I think C, we're going to draw a light horizontal line over, mark 60 on it. I'm going to drop that down and that's going to get point uh, C. Now, to get point B, yes, uh, we can mark in 115 degrees. And then to get, um, we can bring our point C right across to it. And we're going to check for this 120. Sorry, that's uh, a bit inaccurate there. I'll fix that now. Now, so that's the point um, B marked in there. Okay, now to get point A, I'm going to line my set square up with the x-axis. Okay, uh, the edge of my set square up with the x-axis. I'm going to put my t-square underneath it. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular line to the z-axis. I'm going to slide my set square to C. And then that's where uh, point A where appears is the um, y-axis. And I'm going to join A to B. And that's the first part complete. So I'm going to focus on part B now, I'm drawing the plan and elevation orientated as shown, so I'll start with the plan. Right now this green line here, you can drop that down as far as you want, but try and leave sufficient room for it to fit on, on the sheet. So roughly just about basically um, the length BC will be a good one to drop down. Uh, this is two hexagons in plan, and here the distance is 20, 14, 20, and remember all sides in a regular hexagon are equal. Uh, the semicircle here we'll have to draw in, and these two pink lines here are angles of 45 degrees. So I'm now going to focus on drawing the elevation. Okay, so I'll begin with drawing these two three light blue lines out. Okay, now all these three light blue lines are parallel to the z-axis here. Um, the distance between this green line here and line AC can be whatever you want, all right? But again, you want to try and keep um, sufficient uh, space, space on your sheet to complete the diametric projection. So maybe just a little short, the length from here to there, maybe just a little shorter than AC. We then draw in the semicircle, okay, and uh, the angle of this uh, elevation is found by when you extend on the z-axis where it pierces the semicircle, join to the endpoints of the diameter, and that's where the elevation fits in, and then we can draw the elevation. Now, um, the dimensions for elevation, look, the length of it along the bottom is the equivalent to what's here in plan because this line here is an edge of the end vertical plane and this line here is an edge of the end vertical plane as well. So the lengths are shared between the two views. So that first distance there is 20, second distance is 40, third distance is 20. The hidden detail hexagon, hexagon represents the midsection here. Now, the height is the equivalent uh, to the distance between this vertice okay, and this vertice on the semicircle. So to get the midsection, we'll have to bisect that line that represents the edge of the end vertical plane.
So I'm now going to focus on point C of the equation, draw the given axonometric portion of the package as shown. So these surfaces here shown in 3D appear as an edge in plan. All right, so I'm going to bring up the edge view there, the hexagon or the edge of the hexagon parallel to the Y axis. And then here are the surfaces in uh, elevation. Look, this uh, rectangle here. So this rectangle in here in elevation. Okay, and this triangle here here and the bottom rectangle okay we're going to bring them down parallel to the z-axis so parallel to the z-axis so our z-axis here we're going to project the points down parallel to the z-axis and we're going to project them up from plan and where they intersect gets what you call it your um your diametric projection and notice the way they don't actually project down the center okay the center point there from elevation as the two diagonals cross to naturally find it and um, so i'll label the points in 3d and we'll do that so I'm going to bring all the points up from plan uh, parallel to the y-axis and all the points down from elevation parallel to the z-axis. So I'm going to complete this by following the same method as I don't get these uh, this uh, already given portion by just bringing as I, we said we bring the points up parallel to the y-axis and down parallel to the z-axis from elevation. We've a lot already done where the projection lines intersect gives you a points position in tree in the diametric projection, and then two, if two points join together in one view, they join together in every view.